Trin's world. We are anonymous. Trin Hin, one of the most knowledgeable construction attorneys in Atlanta, Georgia, was gunned down in broad daylight just minutes after she filed legal requests at a federal courthouse for all U.S. and state of Georgia documents relating to the believed to be Islamic State terror bombing of the I-85 bridge, with Atlanta street sweeper and eyewitness. Donnie Booker telling local police about this assassination of Tin Hin said, she was crossing the road, and he draws out his gun and shoots her three times. She drops, and he takes off running, and whose military bearing assassin was captured on video surveillance recordings running away from the crime scene. As an in-house attorney, also, for United Parcel Service, UPS, the world's largest package delivery company headquartered in Atlanta, Tran Hin, appeared at the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Georgia where she filed legal papers for UPS asserting a force major claim due to the destruction of the I-85 bridge. That is a common clause in contracts that essentially frees both parties from liability or obligation when an extraordinary event or circumstance beyond the control of the parties, such as a war, strike, riot, crime, or an event described by the legal term Act of God occurs, along with Trin Hin filing her force major claim for UPS. Her further legal filings contain what SVR analysts say were common and natural legal requests for all U.S. federal and state of Georgia documents relating to the I-85 bridge explosion, but that within 30 minutes of her making these filings, she was assassinated with all of the legal documents she filed then disappearing becoming non-existent, as to why Trin Hin had to be assassinated is due to the long-standing policy of American deep state intelligence operatives currently at war with President Donald Trump of using what are called message killings in order to strike fear into anyone interfering with their objectives, and that in this particular instance involves keeping the knowledge of this Islamic State terror attack away from the Trump administration as it supports Trump's warnings of how great a threat these terrorists are to the U.S. with the Foreign Intelligence Service, SVR. Having previously detailed the evidence that Islamic State terrorists, who had infiltrated themselves into Georgia from Syria, blew up the I-85 bridge in Atlanta, and how after this terror attack U.S. deep state operatives are furiously working to cover up all the true facts of Deputy Director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Andrew McCabe, has personally taken charge of this investigation. Critical to note about FBI Deputy Director McCabe is that he was appointed by FBI Director James Comey to be this intelligence agency's number two official shortly after President Trump took office, but who stunningly failed to list on his financial disclosure forms for 2015 that his wife, Dr. Jill McCabe, received nearly $600,000 from Hillary Clinton operatives and that the powerful United States Senator Charles Grassley is now demanding an explanation for as McCabe is now being linked to the deep state operation to smear President Trump with fake news Russian allegations. With 700 feet of the I-85 bridge now having to be replaced due to this Islamic State terror attack, and the state of Georgia Department of Transportation breaking with the deep state and revealing that only non-combustible materials were stored underneath it. The assassination of Tin Hen leaves only Atlanta City Councilman Clarence Terrell Martin calling for true facts behind this terror attack to be known, but whom SVR analysts estimate has, most likely, less than two weeks before he too is neutralized, like all of the other great American truth seekers that have gone before him. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.